friends welcome to computer channel and in this video we are going to handle this practical so the first step is to create a database in a folder and this is my folder and the name of the database is uh, Moliro University College show so this is the first step create a database I'll highlight it so this is how we create a new database click new and Microsoft access the name is Moliro University College so we are done with the first and uh, the question one I will open my database but opening my database what I'm going to get so question two is about create a table create a table and the name of that table is a uh, students so the table should have the following details first name last name all of this so that's what I'm going to do now so you go here create table design the first field is uh, admission number the second field is first name that field is last name Field is calls. The fifth, the fifth field is date of and the last one is completed. Completed. Now setting the data types: admission number, text, first name text, last name text, calls text. Date of admission will be uh, will be date time and completed can be either yes or no. The person can. Uh, can be either yes or no then after creating this set admission number as the primary key okay, from there, save the name is student details student details okay we are done with number two number three create a column chart column form that would that would uh, be used to enter data into the student details <coughs> and save it as student's data entry. Okay, so we are not going to enter data through this table. We are going to create another form here. Yeah. Form design, this form, this is a more forms, this is a navigation, this is form that they're going to use that one. We want all these details, so click there next column form ticket next the name is student details students data entry students data entry and open form to view or enter information yes that's all so what are you supposed to enter here We need that mission number. Student is three two two four. The, the name is uh, John Flora. John Flora. Who's is IMS? I. IMS. Date of completion is uh, is twelve of zero one twenty ten. Hello slash zero. Then completed yes ticket. Then under the second detail. It is four four five five. Mary Mutua. Mary Mutua. Cause is a uh, accounts. Completed yes. The date of admission is twenty four twelve. And four slash twelve slash and nine. Then completed yes. Click enter. In the that student is six six seven seven. Seven seven. The first name is uh, Bernard Ninety. Uh, Bernard Ninety. This is a uh, French. Uh, French date of admission. Fifty five fifteen five. 
it completed so click enter so that one okay so after entering data using the form this is what we are going to get in the student details table therefore a form is used to enter data into a table in a more efficient way now we are going to do number five that is create a table named fee payment in the same database to contain uh, to contain admission number fee paid and receipt number again we are going to create this table same same way table design there should be a dm number where should we have a also fee paid and receipt number number according to the previous table that is student details the type of admission number was short text but fee paid will be now here will be currency and the receipt number can be either text or maybe a number so this is it here so here the primary key will be the receipt number simply because a person can pay fee more than one time and therefore if we say the admission number will be the primary key we shall be having some duplicate of copies there so let us have receipt number is the primary field we have set it and then we save this is called fee payment fee payment fee payment that is done number is link the two tables linking tables means creating relationship between the table let us try to create relationship when the two tables are open and see what will happen so click database tools relationships you need the two double click double click the other one and then you close so link with the foreign key here we have admission number here we have also admission number link enforce referential integrity and the database could not log the database engine could not log table fee payment because it is already in use by another person or process so to avoid this we are supposed to close the tables first the two tables and try to link again it will exit so admission number to admission admission number okay so this is how you link them enforce differential integrity linked so they are already linked one to one relationship therefore now you can close the relationship and go direct to add data to fee payment now we are going to add data also we have two tables here student details and fee payment student details is the mother table and fee payment is the child table after creating the relationship it means that you cannot add detail any detail to the fee payment table that is child table details of a student who doesn't exist in fee payment for example these are the details in the admission numbers let me try to enter details of a student who doesn't exist in mother table like four five six six seven you must enter the a value in the fee pain okay so next we have fee paid is uh, maybe 12 shillings visit number three you cannot add or change record because related record is required in table student details this is because this student doesn't exist in uh, student details so that is the importance of creating relationship. Ensure that you don't have duplicate of that. You don't feed in unnecessary details. So let me feed the student three two two four three two two four. Pay okay, this twelve thousand and receipt number is one hundred. So we have four four five five four four five five. Feed pay this thirty thousand and there is one two one. The third student is uh, the last student is six five seven nine. Fee paid is thirty thousand, and the receipt number is one five zero. So we have fully entered details in this table. Number is to create a query that will display the admission number. 
the first name, the last name, fee paid. Only the group. Remember these details are in different tables. So this is how we are going to create the query. So go to queries, query wizard, select simple query wizard. Then from student details we need the admission number, the first name, the last name. That's enough. From fee payment we need the fee paid only. We need the fee paid. Then we go next detail. Would you like a detail or summary query? We need a detailed query. Next, what's the name of the query? Fee paid. Next, open query to view information. Yes. M last name and fee paid. So a query is used to manipulate tables. But nine, we need the fee paid by students and the total fee so that we may get a balance. So this we are going to do create, 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 then wizard, simple query wizard. So we need the last name and fee paid. Next details okay the name is Saint Home Saint Home modify the query finish therefore to get the balance go to query design under set builder what we need is a um, 30 000 minus okay go again to query design and be run you'll get experience this is the name of the field automate but we are going to change it to call it balance later so we can see flora owes 18,000 Naja is 5,000 and Kelly 7,000 we are going to filter this data only to display the student who was a school more than 10,000 and this case is flora so go back again to design view First, let us rename this. Okay, criteria. We want to display the one who display on the school and more. So, right, greater than ten thousand. Remember, we don't need to see the fee paid. So, and in here, that expiry one and type balance. We're going to design view run. So Flora only. Question is about creating a query or a list of students who are qualified to graduate. That is, students whose fee balance is zero, and therefore we're going to create a new query, query wizard. And what we need here is uh, we need the student details. For that, all we need the admission number, first name, last name, and course. Uh, in order to get the fee balance, we also need fee paid. So we also add this fee paid. And then next, we want to add detail query. And the name of this query is called graduates. Modify the query design. So this is what we have now. To get the first thing is to get the balance now. And to get the balance, go to query design, query setup, builder. Get the balance is equal to 30,000 minus fee paid. Okay, what are we going to do here? You can see over here. Balance zero, zero. So all these students, students like Mary, Bernard, and AV, and also Mwangi will get a certificate. Therefore, we are going to only display students who always put zero shares. And set a criteria here. And set is equals to zero. And we don't want to display the fee paid, so check. We don't also display the fee balance, also and check. So again, there. And these are the students who are going to get there. We want to, yeah, we have already got the answer. So, it's about preparation of reports for students 
details, uh, fee payment, fee paid, send home and graduates. So you are going to do it, create, go to reports, choose report wizard, it is the easiest way. So the first thing we need is about the student details, enter all of them there, next. Uh, do you want to add any grouping level? No, I don't want to add any grouping level. Uh, what's order? I don't want to order anything. You can choose any of this. Columna is okay. Next. This is called student details report. Finish. That's how you get it now. Next, we are going to create report about fee payment. Next, we are going to create report on fee payment now. Uh, quick reports wizard about fee payment fee payment all of them enter them there send them there next next you can use tab layout uh, fee payment report finish this is how it will look like yes and next we need the uh, we need uh, fee paid. So it's fee payment, fee paid. Okay. We need also send home report wizard. We need also this is fee payment, fee paid. Okay. Next. Nothing else. I'm going to change. Finish. That's about fee paid. The student details. Next is about the graduates. So it's reports, wizard, select graduates. These are them. Next. So no, you don't need to suit. Next. Graduates. Finish. Here they are. So that's how you create a report.